Hello and welcome to Tech for Non-Techies, the only podcast that demystifies the fast-growing technology sector. I'm your host, Sophia Madriega, Chicago Beef MBA and tech entrepreneur. My aim here is to give you the skills, knowledge and confidence to find opportunities in the tech sector, whether that's through founding a company, getting a dream job or bringing a fresh perspective to your work. Hello, smart people. How are you today? I just got back from a tennis lesson with my new tennis coach. He is a super professional tennis coach and his students go on to play at national championships. However, there is absolutely no threat of me playing in the French Open. The aftermath of our lesson was me in a heap of sweat and shame with balls everywhere. And this nicely segues to today's topic pornography. Now, I haven't made this episode just because I want you to walk around sniggering, although it is partly that, but actually because the porn industry is the originator of the product that you and your mum are using today. So let's start with some stats. I seen an estimate that about 35% of all internet downloads today are related to pornography, and that's according to research by web root. There is some debate on this exact number because it is actually quite a hard number to research because, you know, a lot of the browsing is private, etc, etc. I also saw on Statista that only 4% of the websites around the world are estimated to be porn. But web and mobile searches clock in 13 and 20% respectively. So even if it's 20% of mobile searches, you know, if 20% of mobile searches are porn, that's a fifth. That's a lot. Anyway, basically, you know, people like porn and they want to see it. But here at Tech for Techies, this is not our usual topic. The point is, if you want to learn about tech innovation and upcoming trends, ignoring an industry that is responsible for a fifth of search traffic is just dumb. In this episode, I'm not talking about the morality of porn because this is not what we do here. My aim is to help you succeed in the digital age. And the adult industry is one of the largest contributors to tech innovation. So basically ignoring what's happening there doesn't make business sense. Did you know that the adult industry pioneered streaming video? So basically, they're the grandfathers and grandmothers of Netflix and Amazon Prime and Disney, which kind of sounds weird. The adult industry also pioneered tracking devices and online credit card transactions. Basically, the entire concept of e-commerce owes much of its early existence to porn. Here's an example for you. If you remember the scandal about the Pamela Anderson and Tommy sex tape from 1998, then you might be interested to know that this incident actually helped to drive wide-scale adoption of credit card processing online. In the 1990s, there was an entrepreneur called Richard Gordon who founded a company called Electronic Card Systems. And that company pioneered credit card transactions for a whole range of pornographic websites. And then Richard Gordon basically got really wealthy by taking a commission of processing sales from sites which were featuring the Pam and Tommy tape. The porn industry has actually been driving tech and innovation even before the software sector as we know it was born. So even before the internet was invented, the adult industry drove consumer technology. There's a book called The Erotic Engine by somebody called Patchen Bars. And the author says that without porn, the VCR might never have taken off as a consumer product. Before people were buying VCRs en masse, Basically, if somebody wanted to watch a blue movie, they had to go to a sleazy movie theatre, which was not a great experience. VCR machines allowed people to stay home and watch whatever they liked, whenever they like. And Bas, the author, argues that this desire helped create an early market for home video equipment. This author said something that actually really struck me and I want to share it with you. They note that pornography exerts a disproportionate influence over technologies at the stage when they are new and glitchy and expensive and difficult to use. They create an initial market that allows them to develop to the point where they're ready for the mainstream. 
And what I want you to see here is that the pornographers aren't usually inventing new technologies themselves. So they're not necessarily the people who are actually driving computer science forward. Instead, their contribution is taking new technology innovation to market. In the examples that I've shared with you today, these tech innovations generally flowed from porn sites to the consumer internet economy in general, basically from porn to Amazon. And what this shows is that there is a really important difference between inventing something and then turning that invention into something that people use and something that helps the company make money. And this is what we call commercializing innovation. And commercializing innovation is a talent and driving mass consumer adoption is hard. And this is what the porn industry actually does for a lot of tech products. There is another book called Obscene Profits, The Entrepreneurs of Pornography in the Cyber Age by Frederick Lane. Frederick Lane says that the porn industry has convincingly demonstrated that consumers are willing to shop online and are willing to use credit cards to make purchases. In the process, the industry has served as a model for a variety of online mechanisms, including, wait for this, monthly site fees, the provision of extensive free material as a lure to site visitors, and the entire concept of upselling, so basically selling related services to people once they've joined a site. So the author continues, in myriad ways, large and small, the porn industry has blazed a commercial path that other industries are hastening to follow. You know, this made me think, like, for example, on my website on techpodontechies.co, I have a very well-written and useful free guide to the top 10 concepts that non-technical professionals need to know to lead in the digital age. And when I was writing it, I did not realize that this consumer behavior innovation was actually created by the makers of smut. So my dear smart person, if you're a tech investor or a tech innovator, you might want to see what new products or use cases are happening in the adult industry, because some of them will go mainstream. I'm not saying put down this podcast and watch some smut right now, because I mean, at least finish the episode. What I'm saying is that the more you can look for innovation and pick up ideas from wherever they come from, regardless of whether they are from culturally approved places, the more creative you will be in your work. Most people who are, you know, let's face it, not the 1% of innovators, they don't do this. So just this more open mindset alone will differentiate you and make you smarter, which is what we're doing here. Great scientists, great artists and great investors look across geographical and cultural borders to learn from each other. And this is what I want you to do too, because we are smart people and we're ambitious people. And if you really want to succeed in the digital age, then Tech for Non-Techies courses might be just the answer that you have been looking for. We've got Tech for Non-Technical Founders, which is great for those who want to build a tech business, but don't have a technical background. We've also got How to Speak Tech for Leaders, which is perfect for corporate innovators, or if you're a non-technical person, say, working in big tech. There's also Introduction to Tech for Investors and How to Transition into a Career in Tech. My students have used these courses to build businesses, invest in them and completely change their career trajectories. If this is what you want to do too, then apply for a consultation call and the link to that is in the show notes. And now we have reached the end of this episode, so you may go and do whatever you're planning to do afterwards. Enjoy yourself and I'll speak to you next week. Ciao.